Hello and welcome back. I am as I am, and this is another Minecraft tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to build this two story medieval building. It's kind of a farmhouse still, but you could fit this in a village. Of course, I made an interior again, I tried my best. These are two stories. The first story, this is the dining area. A small kitchen. Crafting table. This is the bedroom. Upstairs, you can put your weapons. And two armor stands. I made a list with all the materials you will be needing again, so you can build this in survival as well. For the floor, I chose stone and andesite again, around 20 in total. We need 99 blocks of stripped spruce log, 48 blocks of uh, quartz or wool, clay, bone, whatever you would like to use for the walls. Then we need 12 uh, cobblestone walls, 26 spruce fences, 2 spruce blocks, 13 spruce stairs, 20 spruce slabs, 38 trapdoors of spruce, 6 dark oak wood fence gates <laughs> for the windows, 2 cobblestone stairs, 8 blocks of brick, 3 stairs of brick, 42 stairs of oak, 21 oak slabs, 54 hay bales, 4 campfires in total, 2 lit, 2 extinguished, 2 spruce doors, 3 chests, 1 crafting table, 1 furnace, one carpet, I chose brown, three composters, six bookshelves, four lanterns, one scaffolding, two flower pots with two flowers of your choice, two beds, two armor stands, and four item frames. Right, I will now grab some materials to build the first floor. So spruce logs, quartz, um, the cobblestone wall, some fence, and then we are going to grab all three of the spruce variants here, as well as the flooring. Now the building is 11 blocks long, 9 blocks wide. I will start in this corner again with a pillar of 3 in spruce logs. Then leave a gap of 2, a pillar of 2 right here, gap of 2, a pillar of 3. Then you can already connect these. Then you will turn the corner, 1 block gap. 2 high pillar, 1 block gap, 3 high pillar. Connect. Now right here you can just uh, put 1 block of log against this pillar. Leave one empty. You will have a 3 block gap. Build another pillar of uh, 2. 1 block gap and a pillar of 3. Now you can just uh, connect these uh, pillars, but leave this one empty, you don't need it. Turn the corner again, pillar of two, and come out the top. Now take your smooth quartz or wool, whatever you want to use as your wall material, and start right here again. So place two right at the bottom, there's going to be a window right here this gap, drop the corner, fit in 
this one portion. I'll leave these two empty again. That's where the kitchen is. These two are going to be filled in. Now here's the door. And this is going to be a window again. Next you can use your floor material. In my case that's stone and andesite. And uh, where the doorway is, start two blocks in front. And dig out everything until this point. Then you can just fill it in with uh, whatever you want to use as flooring. Maybe like this. Now take the cobblestone wall. And standing in front of the doorway, place two walls like this to the left, two to the right. Then one in each of the corners. Like that. And then you're going to place another one right here. In the front of the house. Next, grab your spruce fences and put one on top of each of these wall pieces. Bear these two. Then grab your spruce planks, place one on this pillar and one in the middle of the front right here. You are then going to need your spruce stairs and you will place them upside down against each of these pillars where you have a fence underneath. except for these two. Here you will grab spruce slabs, place one lower slab on each of the blocks and then uh, upper slabs right here and bring them across. Now fill in each of these gaps, the corners as well. Bear this part again, and that's the bottom pretty much done. Right, for the next step you will be needing your uh, spruce logs again, cobblestone stairs, spruce fences, spruce stairs, dark oak fence gates, spruce trap door, spruce door, bricks and brick stairs. Okay, entering the house, you will place a log beam right across the middle like this, so you have a 2 by 3 gap on each side. Then take your cobblestone stairs and put them upside down in this opening, like so. Then on the outside, you take your bricks, then one Stair, another stair, brick, brick, stair, and I put one brick in here as well, and then I believe it's uh, five blocks up in total. So one, two, three, four, five. Now the door is going to be placed right here. Take the fence gates, place them like this, that's the windows, then your trap doors, two right there, one right here, and while we are at it we can place two spruce stairs like this, it's going to be where the table is later. And then you can take your trapdoors and place three above each other, like this. Then another two. One against this part. 
because this is where the uh, stair is going to be. Now, before you move on to the next step, you might want to swap your cobblestone stairs for the oak stairs. We are then going to place the stair like this, one here, one there, and then turn the corner like that. So, now you can grab your spruce logs again, and on the short sides just go out one block, like this. These are going to be three high again. You can connect these, do the same on the other side, so one block out, three high, and connect. You're then going to place two beams this on each side. Then you have this two block gap right here, but instead of putting one here, you're going to put it out there. Again, three high. Even one block gap, place another three. Like so, we'll not connect this part. You will take a spruce stair and put it right there. Now in the back, you can just connect the logs like this. Also in the back of the house, on the upper floor, leave a two block gap from the from this pillar and just place two logs facing upwards. And also you will need to put three logs right across here. I forgot those. Okay, now you can uh, step out on this corner and put two sp uh, spruce trapdoors onto each other, holding shift like so. This is just so we don't have problems placing these trapdoors later. Right, next spruce logs again, quartz. Um, we are going to use some stairs. Some fence, um, then trapdoors, fence gates, and what else? Needing. Hmm. Yeah, we are going to grab these three as well. Alright, so first you can start by putting in the floor right here, so that's oak slabs at the top, then you need that gap. Now, take your smooth quartz blocks, you have to place them like this, two right against this pillar, so you have this corner empty, the same thing on the other side. And place one down here. Going to have a window there. Then on this side, just place them in this U shape. Again, there's going to be a window. Same on this side. And then th uh, the rest you can just fill in with warts at the back. I will now continue on the roof. So I place a two block high pillar right across here. The same thing on this side. And then just grab your wall material and place it against this pillar just like that. Alright. Now you can take your spruce logs again and put three beams across right here. So that's leave a gap of one right there, then three blocks across, one block gap, three blocks across, one block gap, and three blocks across, and then just connect the very top of the roof with the beam. Now from the inside, just take your oak stairs and place them upside down right in these gaps up here. Oh, careful not to fall down. 
and the same on the other side. Right, on the outside, take two of your spruce stairs again and place them against this sticking out part right here. And then take spruce trapdoors and on every bottom quartz on this top layer, we'll place a spruce trapdoor. Just like so. Right, next take your spruce fence again and in each of the corners place a too high pillar. I believe there's one right here as well. Yes, there is. One in this corner and two in these corners. Then in the middle of these pillars just place one fence and on the other side as well. Right, and then just take your fence gates and place them inside the windows. Alright, next I'm going to be building the framing for the roof. So take your oak stairs and place them going up from this position. So that's one block out on each side. Right there. Place one upside down right there and then take your oak slabs. Place three in a row and then one that goes up against this beam right there. Now almost the same thing goes for these two sides. Up. Upside down. Go down again. And right here, the very top, place one facing that way. Same thing on the other side. Downstair and go down again. And facing away from the house again. And then just take your slabs and connect the whole thing at the top. Next, take your hay bales and place them against the logs like this. All the way until you meet this point. Then you might want to place one under here. You can use whatever block you want. This is not going to be seen again. And then just finish the roof on this side. Should look a little something like this. And then just do the same thing on this side. Since the hay bales are still equipped, just place them a little random like this on the outside. This is just for storage. Right then, emptying your inventory again, you are going to need trapdoors, campfires, chest, crafting table, furnace, uh, scaffolding, and the carpet. And then you are going to need... Let's start with the bookshelves and the beds. So, down here, place a double chest against this wall. And a scaffolding between the tables and carpet on top. 
crafting table goes under the stairs and then the campfire I put to the left and the furnace next to it. Now on the upper floor there's going to be another chest right here. Then a double bed I put right here and then three bookcases on each side. Yeah. Now this is going to be a little more complicated, so you're going to need three trap doors on top of these ones that we put up here earlier. So that's three there and three here. And then just one trap door right up here. But I'm just going to place three like this. And then just delete the bottom ones. Now onto the roof. Place your second lit uh, campfire and place your trapdoors just around it. And you can put one on top, you don't need to. It's just so that <laughs> if someone should be looking at it from the top that they don't see the fire in there. But, yeah, that's up to you. I'm just gonna leave it open right now. Right, then here at the back you are going to need a log again. You will place this log facing to the side like this. And campfire, campfire extinguish those. I forgot my shovel. And a trapdoor against the log right there. Next grab a door again. Two of your oak slabs. Then your compostors. Lanterns. Flower pots armor stands and item frames and I think that is pretty much it for now yeah right, so the composters go right here and one around the house like that two around that, it's not one and on the inside place a lantern underneath this beam right there, one right here at the top, then take your oak slabs and put them right here so you can put a lantern on top and a flower pot right there, then your item frames right there and the two armor stands go up here. The second flower pot I put out here, but that's completely optional. Yeah, and then just take a flower of your liking. I'm just going to grab... Oh, why not? Let's take an azure bluette, whatever that is supposed to be. Put one there and one above the bed. So that is the interior done. I will now oh, no it's not, I forgot the door, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the door just goes in there like that. Now it's done. One last detail is this lantern put it right here next to the entrance and yeah that's the main building done and this is what it might look like after you've done some decorating on the outside I put a little mossy cobblestone outside here some path blocks bushes 
fields in the back again. And yeah, that was my two-story medieval building. I hope you liked it, and I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next one, I hope. Have a nice day, a good week, and all that. See you.